process improvement for a consistent daily exercise that was carried out by me along with my significant other who was the process owner. According to Aristotle, we are what we repeatedly do. We did this process improvement using the Plan, Do, Study, Act or the PDCA model for improvement. Statement of problem. I exercise very inconsistently. I would like to exercise on a more regular basis. I would like to improve consistency of daily exercise. I would like to improve my ability to cope with stress because I have a sedentary job. It's a stressful job. I would also like to improve my energy level, my muscle tone, and also prevent weight gain. I also tend to have habits that go hand in hand. When I don't exercise, I eat more, I tend to hibernate, watch TV, um, I, I tend to become more and more sedentary in winter. These are all the reasons why I would like to improve consistency in daily exercise. I got together with my process owner and we created flowcharts and looked at my daily cycles carefully. After careful analysis with, of these cycles, we came up with an action plan. So what were these cycles? If you look at this uh, purple arrow over here, I get up late and I go to work uh, later than I should. I tend to not eat breakfast. I snack in the middle of the day and have tea during the day. I do not eat lunch. I usually snack at my desk. I work late, long hours. I go home tired and I'm hungry. We either eat out or I have a quick fix meal and then I get back to work on my computer at home. If we do eat out, we spend two to three hours eating out um, because it's at a sit-down sit restaurant and that takes up a lot of time in the evenings also. I also like to watch Jay Leno at uh, midnight and so I end up sleeping late and I wake up late the next morning. So that's my cycle for the day. In the planning stages, we evaluated possible changes I could make in my daily lifestyle. This slide contains several possible interventions that we considered. Below each intervention is a score for that particular intervention. Scoring was done based on the survey tool provided by Dr. Alemi. The higher the goal, the less the effort or willpower needed for that intervention. Therefore, the more likelihood of achieving a sustainable change. If you look at some of these interventions, the ones with the highest score were remove TV from bedroom and move to family room, 17. Bring the treadmill from the family room to the family room from the basement, 17. Tape Jay Leno and watch the following day while on treadmill for 45 minutes, 17. Eat lunch daily, healthy snack and fruit at 4 p.m. so that I'm not hungry when I get home, 14. The, the next one was cook for entire week on Sunday, portion food in containers for daily lunch and dinner, 13. Move TV from bedroom to basement, 13. Limit eating out to twice weekly, give st candy stash to process owner to limit daily intake, 13. And the one with the lowest score, which re involved a lot of effort, work on projects proactively to avoid last minute crunches, 11. Goal for daily exercise. We established the following goals for daily exercise based on benchmark data provided earlier as well as my baseline exercise capabilities. On weekdays, walk daily on treadmill at 4 miles an hour for a minimum of 45 minutes, no more than 60 minutes. Weekends, walk daily on treadmill at 4 miles an hour for a minimum of 60 minutes no more than 70 minutes. It may be intriguing as to why I have put in a goal of no more than 60 minutes and no more than 70 minutes. The reason behind this was that we identified that um, as a result of not exercising consistently, what I tended to do was to over-exercise on certain days and by doing this, I actually jeopardized the consistency of exercise because I would use up a lot of time and energy to exercise one day and then I would not exercise for the following two or three days. 
and in order to maintain that consistency I had a minimum and a maximum goal for exercise every day. Also in addition to this there was a goal to register 4,000 steps on the pedometer at work or at home in addition to the daily exercise per goals mentioned above. So for goals met for purpose of data analysis I would have to walk on the treadmill as described above and walk for and walk 4000 steps on the pedometer daily the process improvement pre intervention 2 weeks post intervention 8 weeks the process owner was my significant other the cost was none in fact may, we may have saved some money by not eating out as much the effort involved really surprisingly was more to do with breaking the habit of eating out eating out represented fun and quality time also cooking on weekends for the entire week involved some effort post intervention cycle one lasted for four weeks the key changes made for this cycle were as follows I removed the TV from the bedroom and took it to the basement where the treadmill was located and exercised in the basement limited eating out to twice a week and cooked for the entire week on the weekend so that I had food in the evenings and also for lunch cycle two took place over four weeks and in this case some some more changes were made on top of cycle one changes the TV and the treadmill were both moved from the basement to the upstairs den which is next to the bedroom so it was more easily accessible also it was in a more fun place the basement is kind of cold and does not seem as inviting also I decided to record the Jay Leno show which I enjoy very much and watched late at night and watched it the following day while I was exercising on the treadmill for those 45 to 60 minutes I also turned over my candy stash to my process owner to limit daily intake because what I found was when I overeat I also don't stay as motivated to exercise this way I had controlled exercise and I was also eating better incidentally there were no new episodes of Jay Leno due to a writer's strike and I've switched to other shows of interest for now did it work yes but it took some time pre-intervention is from day one to day fourteen and following that is cycle one and as you can see here this is a time between chart with the sequence of days on the x-axis and duration of missed exercise on the y-axis I have really missed exercise during cycle one and it, there has been no improvement whatsoever based on this time between chart and some of the things where I could really identify the reasons for this were major project completion deadline at work this was between day 37 and day 40 and then I was also sick with a cold between day 43 and 46 beyond that if you look at cycle 2 there seem to be a lot more changes and the changes are statistically significant I have definitely succeeded but it took two cycles of change to do that Cycle 3. Having studied the data from cycles 1 and 2, we are poised to step into the next improvement cycle number 3. The, some of the plans for this cycle are as follows. This is to be initiated December 15. One is to increase the daily exercise goal to 60 minutes. We can build on the previous goal and hardwire this new practice. I have initiated membership at a health club a mile away from work. I have also signed up with ten, for 10 sessions with a personal trainer to break the monotony of current exercise patterns on the treadmill. Also, I have had a discussion with my uh, process owner and we have discussed ground rules at meal times so that we make eating at home more fun and distraction free and don't have to spend as much time and money eating out. Some of the rules are no computers while eating, no TV or phone responses while eating, and we also have agreed to stay at the table for at least 30 minutes during meal times. 